Hi, welcome to Instant Atlas. This is our essential video number 15, how to get upper limit and lower limit as data columns in your table or in your spine chart. Okay, so I'm looking at my screen here and I have created a spine chart report using the area profile template. The data that I have used comes from our IA data, book, uh, data workbook from our installation directory and this is our installation directory profile spine chart Excel file. So I'm just using this because it's nice and easy to show you how to put LL and UL into your workbook. This is our first step. So LL and UL just need to be associate columns, so we've added them in here for indicator 1, theme 1. So there's LL there, there's UL there. The names of the associates here are very important. Upper limit and lower limit are special values in Instant Atlas software because it's possible to get them as the actual bars over the bar chart. So, for example, if I'm hovering here for EH45, I can see that the lower limit was 4.81, the upper limit is 11.19. Obviously these are um, uh, dummy figures, they're just demonstration figures. but. In order for the software to recognize that it's dealing with upper limit and lower limit and therefore create the bars over the bar chart that you want to see, you need to make sure that you have entitled your associate values accordingly as LL or UL. In other words, don't call it lower limit or capital LL. It just wants lowercase LL and UL. Make sure that you've merged your data correctly across the top. So we have the links um, field here for notes.htm. It's been merged across the entire 2001 data set. Same here for the 2002 data set. Above that, the indicator name has been merged across both years worth of data. And above that, the theme name has been merged across the two different themes that are in this particular workbook. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is to tell Instant Atlas that lower limit and upper limit are numeric. The reason you need to do this is because the software will automatically assume by default that LL and UL, because they're associates, are therefore categorical. And so it will align it to the left as text. We don't want this. We want it to align to the right because they are numeric values. To get that to, to happen, we need to tell Instant Atlas that lower limit and upper limit are numeric types of data. So we switch over to the metadata worksheet, and I've already filled one in here um, for the lower limit. So in column A, the element type is just going to say indicator, nothing else. The element itself is going to be the name of the indicator, in which in this case it's indicator 1, followed by a pipe symbol, followed by the name of the associate that we're going to, to define, and it's just going to be LL. Take, take care with the information that you put into column B. Indicator 1 here has to match precisely the name of the indicator that it sees here. So for example, if this indicator 1 had been called Cancer with a capital C, then this needs to be called Cancer exactly as it appeared in the workbook. If you don't get this right, the software can't pick up the information. It's case sensitive. Similarly, it's looking for the actual name of the associate. So in this case, it's the LL. We get this from this um, row of information here that names the associate, and this is LL. Again, if you were to call it capital LL or lower limit or anything other than what it actually shows in the workbook, the software will not pick it up. So just be careful with what you put into column B. Column C is going to be metadata element and we just need to tell it type. This is because this is the command that tells Instant Atlas that, hey, this is going to be a particular type of data that I want you to know about. The reply from Instant Atlas is, okay, what is it? And in column D we tell it it's numeric. So we're going to do this one more time for upper limit because we have lower limit represented now but we don't have upper limit represented yet. So it's just going to be indicator in column A, cancer 
because that's what I've renamed it. Let's call it upper limit here, type, and numeric. The next thing you want to do is export this information into your report folder. Now you can do this after publishing or you can do it before publishing. I'm actually doing it after having published the spine chart report. So this is just going to overwrite the information that's currently in the data.xml file. Okay. And the first thing that we're going to do now is we're going to look at our config.xml file. So you would right click on this or, or open it directly using the designer. Okay, so in this particular report we've actually got a table and a spine chart. So I'll take you through the table first and then I'll take you through the spine chart. In the table you see here at the bottom right data columns and it starts with legend color then metadata, zoom to, name, and value. If we have a look at the data table itself, we'll see that that's exactly what is described in the data table. We've got the legend color here, we've got the metadata button here, which is our notes, we've got the zoom to, which zooms us directly into the geography feature, we've got the name, which is the name of the geography, and then we've got value, which is the indicator value. So if we wanted to add upper limit and lower limit to the right of our indicator value, this is what you would do. You click the Add button here on the right, and this gives us a new data column automatically. The name of the data column here, we're going to do upper limit first, then lower limit. It needs to be upper limit, precisely as I've written it here with a lowercase u and an uppercase l for limit, and it needs to be all one word. The alias here, I'm just going to call it ul, all capitals. The alias here is just what you see as the alias in the, the table itself, so it can be anything that you like. But for the software to actually pick up the data from the data.xml file, these data columns need to have certain information. For upper limit and lower limit, it must have the word upper limit written precisely as you see it here, and lower limit similarly, like so. Column alias, I'm just going to put lower limit in. The last thing that you want to do is look at this width column here on the right. The width column wants to try and add up to the number 1, so what we see here is that it's actually adding up to the number 2. Upper limit and lower limit are quite small values, so what I'm going to do is set these to 0 in terms of their width. This will make them as small as possible in the table without them being completely unintelligible to see. So I'm going to save that. and refresh my browser and see what my table looks like now. Okay, so we can see now that it's squashed it a little bit and we can continue playing with the width um, as much as we want until we get it exactly the way we want it to look. But the important thing to know is that we've got upper limit and lower limit in without a problem. So we're going to do the same thing now to our spine chart. And it works really precisely in the same way. You add your data column here at the bottom. So let's have a look at our data columns here. We've got indicator, value, diff, and then our um, actual spine here. So if I was to select an area, our information starts to load. So it might be good to have upper limit and lower limit um, here next to the actual indicator value. To do that, what you do is you select the column that you want to move, and then you can move it up or down as the case may be using these up and down buttons. So I'm going to call this one upper limit, precisely in the same um, sequence that we saw before with lowercase u and uppercase l. Alias ul. I'm going to make that width as small as possible because the numbers really are quite small. I'm going to add another column. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to call this one lower limit. Precisely as before, with a capital L for the limit, but a lowercase l for lower, but it's all one word. 
I'm going to change my alias to whatever I want. In this case, I just want um, two capital L's for lower limit. Change my width to something small. In this case, I'm just using zero. Refresh the browser. You can see here the upper limit and lower limit are now inside the spine chart. And they're now also inside our table. That's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us in the support team at support.geowise.co.uk. Thanks. Bye.